Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. Well we've been creating these hover effects and we've got another one for you today. It's a full screen image when you hover over it. It's going to do an image swap and we've got some text and a call to action right there. When you let go of it, it's going to go back to the original image. Really easy to do. There's no coding involved for this today. We're just using the inbuilt features of the Divi theme itself. If you enjoy this video today, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It lets me know whether to make more videos on specific topics or not. All right, let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work. Let's put one right here, I guess. I'm going to hit the little blue button for a new section. I'm going to use a regular section. I'm going to use a row with a single column. And inside that column, I'm going to put a call to action module. That way we can use a button. I'm not going to change anything here. You put your title in there, obviously. Put what your buttons are say. At the moment, there's no button. Your content goes there, obviously. Put in whatever you want. It's like any other text block. You can add media. You can change headings and paragraphs and add links. So let's go down to the link. And once we add a link for the button right here, you'll see the button show up. I'm just going to put a hashtag in place of a link. If you want the actual module to link somewhere else, so you can have a link on the button and the module can link somewhere else, put it in down below. And common practice, as with most links, if you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking off-site to a different site, open it in a new tab so your site stays open. Okay, well I'm going to leave that just like that for a moment. I'm going to go into our section and put a background image in. And this is going to be the image that we're going to see first. So I'm going into the section, the blue tab. I'm going to go down to background. I'm going to go over to image. You've got color, gradient, image, or video. I want to go to image. Choose whatever background image you want to see initially. This is the one we're going to see first. And as you can see, it's put it in the background there. And you can choose to center it, put it wherever you want, top left, top right, top center, bottom center. If I put it bottom center, it will just be the water itself. I'm going to have mine just center center, I believe. There we go. Okay, well, let's work on this. We'll save our section. We're going to go back there in a little while. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make our row full width next so it stretches the whole width of the screen there. So go into the row, the green tab, little cog. I'm going to go to design, sizing, width. I'm going to pull up to 100%. I'm going to copy that, control C, paste it in the max width below, control V. Or you can just type it in if you want to. Now we've got a full width section right there. That's great. But while we're in the row, I want to take away any padding that's at the top of the bottom. So just down below sizing, we've got spacing. We're still on the design tab. I'm going to put a zero in the top, hit the chain and it'll do the bottom for us as well. There we go. So we're just left with a bit of padding in the section. We'll adjust that in a minute. OK, well, let's go into our call of action module here and put a background image in. And this is the image that we're going to fade into. So I'm going to go into the call to action module, the dark tab here, little cog. I'm going to go down to background. And it's got a generic color in there. I'm going to leave that in there because I might blend it with the image. But I'm going to go over to image. And again, we'll choose an image. And this is, like I say, the one that's going to fade in. Let's use this one again. And as you can see, that's put that module, that image behind our module here. But I'm going to blend that color with it so it just makes our writing stand out a little bit more. So if we roll down a little bit, we're still in the image settings. 
and again you can position it have it cover center no repeat but I'm going to blend it and there's plenty of blend options to choose from I'm just going to choose the multiply have a look through some of these because you can get some crazy effects like saturation exclusion but I'm simply going to go with a multiply which will just darken it down a little bit with that blue color we've got in for the color dye there and to me that kind of looks good you can still see the whales or whatever they are and the text stands out beautifully there okay let's go to our content and I'm going to split those lines up we could put padding left and right but I think it's easier just to split those lines of text up so if we go down and obviously this is up to you now I'm going to use shift and enter because it it won't put any space between the lines I'll do it after period or full stop there and let's do it before design there there we go so we split it up into sort of manageable little chunks okay now we want to make it the depth that we actually want it to be by using a bit of padding so we'll go over to the design go into spacing and I'm going to add padding top and bottom I'm going to say put in 150 and hit the chain it'll do the bottom as well yeah that looks okay to me we can see enough of it yeah it looks like a dolphin doesn't it so we can see enough of it let's check it on tablet and mobile so if common to most Divi modules if you hover over the padding right there you'll see a little arrow and you'll see a little mobile phone type icon if you hit the mobile phone type icon we're viewing it on desktop if we view it on a tablet you can change the amount of padding actually that works fine for me that looks pretty good let's look at on a cell phone here roll up yeah that looks fine on a cell phone too but if you wanted to you could have three different amounts of padding one for each of those styles there okay now let's do the fade and the way it's going to fade we're going to change the opacity on this module so it's invisible when we're not hovering over it then when we hover over it it's going to come in slowly so still on the design tab in the call to action I'm going to roll down to filters I'm going to roll down to opacity or transparency or see-throughness if you hover over the opacity there you'll get the little icons up again I'm going to hit the little arrow this time for desktop when our mouse is not on it I don't want to see it at all and for hover state when our mouse is on it I want to see the whole thing like that so desktop we see this when the mouse is on it we see this and the time it takes to change from one to the other I like to slow this down for drama but it's entirely up to you. The default's 300 milliseconds, which is just under a third of a second. If you want to slow it down or speed it up, go over to Advanced, down to Transitions. There's the duration. I'm going to take mine up to a second and a half or so, even a bit more. Don't want any delay. I want it to happen as soon as the mouse hits it. Speed curve I like to use for this is ease in and ease out. They're all slightly different. They're subtly different. Some will work better in certain conditions than others so check them out but for my horror effects I tend to use the ease in ease out that way when your mouse goes off of it it kind of eases back into how it was okay so we're good to go there the only other thing I want to do here is chop these little bits off of padding we've got on the section so if we go up to our blue section again the blue tab for the section simply go in there we'll go over to design spacing padding top and bottom put a zero in hit the chain it'll do the bottom now when we hover over it that actual call to action will be taking out the same amount of real estate as the section itself there okay well let's save this and see what we've got on the front end I'm going to go down hit the little purple button save the page and let's exit the visual builder 
and we'll roll on down there's our animated dividers we did a few videos ago there's our image right here when we hover over it there's our other one fading in with our call to action and text right there when we let go it's going to fade back out into the original picture and that's a nice little feature as you can see really easy to do so i hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day